Hey everyone, Mike Foote here, rut race director and North Face runner. Um, starting off our weekly training tips videos. Today, I thought it would be a great idea to start with the idea of goal setting. Uh, what your goals are for the rut virtual runs. Um, setting goals is, turns out really important. If you don't have a goal, you don't know if you're getting close to it. You don't know what you're striving for, what you're progressing towards. And uh, ultimately, you kind of just feel like you're middling around and uh, not, not really uh, working towards something. So obviously, by signing up for the rut race, you want to finish the distance you had initially registered for. But what are your goals beyond that? Um, I think visualizing and clarifying what that is will help make the experience between now and race day uh, potentially more fulfilling. Um, so there's two types of goals I want to focus on today. Uh, first would be, and, and I'll say there are lots of different ways to, to split out goals, but the, the two I want to focus on today will be uh, performance or outcome goals, and then also process goals. So performance and outcome goals, that would include uh, a goal like, I want to run the Route 50K in under nine hours, or I want to beat my running buddy by 20 minutes, or I want to be in the top 10 of my age group. Uh, those are very much outcome goals. And while you have some control over it, uh, you, you don't have a 100% control over your outcome goals. You don't know how other people are going to perform that day. Um, lots of external factors there, but really important so you know what you're striving towards. Um, and they are something that can really help you to stay motivated, to help you get out the door. I mean, outcome goals are really very much the, the carrot on the end of the stick, if you will. Um, and then more, perhaps more importantly, um, something I really like to focus on are process goals. So uh, a process goal would be something like, uh, I will eat 300 calories an hour to support my goal of having good nutrition plan and good energy on my long runs. Or uh, my one of my outcome goals is staying injury free. So one of my process goals is, I will go to the gym two days a week and work on strength and mobility in order to stay injury free. And that's a process goal. Or an outcome goal could be, I want to run 50 kilometers in order, I wanna, I wanna finish the Route 50K. And in order to do that, I am going to commit to running five days a week so that my body is ready to run that distance come September. That, again, is a process goal. So essentially breaking down into actionable steps what you can do to set yourself up best to achieve your outcome goal. Those are your process goals. And visualizing those and clarifying those is going to be so important for you to move forward towards that carrot on the end of the stick. Um, and then lastly, uh, it's really important to track all of this. So setting a goal is nice and it feels good, but if you don't come back to it and you don't see how you're progressing towards it, uh, it really loses a lot of its value. So setting an outcome goal of, I wanna finish the Route 50K in under eight hours, and then setting supporting process goals of staying injury free by going to the gym by running a certain number of days a week and potentially hitting a certain mileage per week. Those are, those are your process goals that are gonna set you up well for your outcome goal. And then tracking all of this to see how you're moving towards those goals is, is uh, just paramount. So whether it's a training log or writing in a journal and, or doing a weekly check-in or having an accountability partner a uh, training buddy that you you chat with once a week to say, hey, how's this going? Um, it helps you to reflect back on your process and 
uh, adjust things on the go because all of this in your goal setting is not set in stone. Um, what it's there for is to help motivate you and inspire you. So um, having, having those waypoints along the way will get you to race day and get you to uh, a point where you're closer to realizing your potential, which is the whole goal of this. I would think, and having fun, of course, having fun. Um, so yeah, in summary, outcome goals, process goals, tracking it, finding a way to do those things that works best for you so that you can be ready come race day to have your best experience. All right.